Ford Model A Q&A. This comes from Rafa in Mexico. Hi, Rafa. He says he's currently restoring a 1930 town sedan. He's struggling to find out why his engine is overheating around 15 minutes of either running or idling. The water temp goes to 199 Fahrenheit. Nothing takes it warmer or cooler. It stays at the same temperature range. He's changed the water pump to a new leakless type. He has a six blade fan. He also took it to a radiator shop. Okay, that was gonna be my next thing. Yeah, triple check timing. Got a little cooler, but it stays between 194 Fahrenheit to 203 Fahrenheit. Ooh, yeah. He's asking for advice and asking if you think it's time to pull the engine out and check the head. I was gonna say next is probably head gasket. I don't think you need to pull the engine, um, but definitely time to pull the head. So you gotta check for cracks and things. Somehow or another hot combustion gases are probably getting into the coolant. So you need to figure out where that's coming from. Most of the time, it's head gasket or something leaking in the head. You could just start off by trying retorquing the head. See if maybe the head just came loose. You might, might have lucked out. And sometimes that'll do it right there, but otherwise, yeah, it's time to pull the head. There we go. This is a head gasket. This is located here between the head and the block. So what happens is sometimes is you'll get a little bit of a leak between one of the water passages and into the combustion chamber here where the pistons are. Mm -hmm. And what happens is those gases are really hot and under a lot of pressure when the engine's running, especially if it's pulling a load. In fact, sometimes you can take the radiator cap off and like just pull a load, pull up a hill or something in third gear and you'll just see water come gushing out of there with bubbles and everything mm -hmm. else. So if that's the case, you probably have a leak somewhere either between the head and block or the head gasket itself has given out. One of these water passages is letting hot, high pressure combustion gases get into the water jacket and that will definitely cause overheating every time. So now, although Paul does not have a video out yet where he is changing the head gasket, which he will be doing pretty soon and just keep your eyes out for it and I'll let you know when it is coming also. But him and Derek did a video on the road with Roadworthy Rescues. Yeah, it's hard to yeah. get that out of my mouth. That's the Vice Grip Garage yeah. show on Motor Trend Television. Right yeah, put it right there. And they actually changed the head gasket, right? Oh, yeah, we yeah. did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exciting times. It's exciting times. So we machine the head and everything on a bad motor. It yeah. was awesome. Unfortunately, <laughs> it ended up being a bad it motor. <laughs> All that for nothing. And they had to yeah. quickly scramble and get a new motor. Yeah. So That motor had no rings left. But at least it shows you how to do it. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know? It shows you how to fail with grace. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you're subscribed and like the video if you like it. And put on your notifications because these are coming a lot. Almost daily. Keep those Model A's driving for generations to come. <gasps>